Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we have a very cool pistol. This is the Shadow Systems MR920, stands for multi-roll. Um, this is based off of a Glock 19, um, but is it really a clone or is it something all by itself? We'll go over that and you can make your own mind up. Also on the table, as I say, we have, this is the uh, kind of the battle optic version and it does have a cutout at the back here but to go along with that we have another um, MR920 this is the elite model with a threaded barrel and some extras and we'll go over this and we'll compare them for you guys all right let's get started okay so what comes in the box um, it comes with a really nice shadow systems kind of uh, gun case here that you you know you can take to the range or something like that it comes with a gun lock as you'd expect and it comes with some other things. Let me get these out. So some of the things that you're going to receive is you're going to receive uh, lots of screws, different options um, and things like that for the optics. We'll go over that in a second. And it comes with, actually it comes with three total different back straps, um, depending on how you like your grip. Um, so with the normal, I have the, the smaller grip on here and it supposedly feels more like a 1911 grip. Uh, I really like it. I have medium sized hands I, I've, and I feel like I can get a really nice grip on this gun. So the nice thing is um, with this system that they've developed, um, you can just pop a pin out, slide this off and put a different one on. There's, there's three different parts you can put on the back here to get that kind of grip that you feel most comfortable with. And I really like that system and it's not one size fits all. They do give you other options, which is awesome. Um, the other thing that it comes in, I already have put on is it comes with a, mag, a flare mag belt extension part to put on here. And again, it just puts, you know, goes on with a little pin. Um, and I really, really like this mag well a lot. You know, obviously, typically they're designed just for um, easier insertions of magazines. But one of the things that I really like about it is um, my when my hand sits here, my pinky sits on this little ed ledge, and it just feels just awesome in my hand. I'm a huge, huge fan of that Magwell extension. Um, the other thing it comes with is it comes with two uh, P mags, 15 round P mags. If you live in a free state, um, I do have Glock mags with me today. That's what I've been running with the gun, but it does run the P mags um, just fine. And sometimes the P-Mags are actually a little more beneficial because with the Glock mag, it sits pretty flush and not quite flush, but it sits pretty far in there. And the P-Mags sit a little lower, which some people might like. So, um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the camera angle. We'll put it down on the table so you guys can get a close up of all the features and all the cool things you've done to these. And uh, I'll be right back with you. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you pick up um, these models of, of these guns is the weight compared to an actual Glock. These feel a lot lighter in hand. Now they are lighter um, just because of all the dimensions. There's cutouts and things like that on the slide. Um, and it's not, It's this is not an exact clone of a Glock. This has been, this is a very well thought out system. Um, so it's not just a Glock clone in my opinion. Um, they've done something pretty special with these guns, with these pistols. So yeah, you'll notice, as I say, as soon as you pick it up, it, it, you're going to notice the weight difference. It is definitely lighter. And again, you know, as I said before, you can change out those straps to get um, whatever feels good for you. Again, I've gone for the small. I really, really uh, do like that. It does have that extended kind of beaver part, beaver tail part right here. So you can get a really nice purchase on there. Not worry about slide bite and things like that. Again, this is the flare magwell. Um, we have this really nice stippling all the way around. Um, really nice. I really, really like that stippling a lot. It feels, it's, it's aggressive, but not overly aggressive. It just feels really, really nice in hand. We don't have the finger grooves um, like some of the previous Glock versions or anything like that. And then obviously we have the large uh, mag release right here. And you can see we've got some, some texturing on here, kind of texturing. Uh, Rob, moving up, you're gonna see obviously we have their logo right here. And then we have the slide stop with this little protective um, ledge right here to, um, so you don't accidentally knock it. Um, I did switch this one out. So typically it will come with the flat really close to the slide like so. Um, but because I've been playing with around with these, um, I have got the Vickers Tactical um, one on here to give it just a little easier um, purchase and release. So. Um, I do like these, but the, the OEMs work fine. Again, I'm just kind of uh, testing out. Now, even though I've stated these are 
well thought out. They're not really a Glock clone. I know they are very much based off of a Glock though. The internal parts is pretty much all Glock. Parts are interchangeable and things like that. So it's kind of a, we're kind of in this weird limbo. You know, as I said, is it a Glock? Is it not? I, I still believe these are not just a Glock clone or, you know, some people might call them a Gucci clone. I guess that would be maybe more um, appropriate. Um, but anyway, moving along, as I say with this, we have the trigger guard here and it does have some nice aggressive texturing right here also. Uh, the trigger is really nice. Comes in at about four and a half pounds. You got a little bit of take up. You got a pretty decent break there and you've got very nice reset. Reset is very, very nice on this. Uh, moving up, you're gonna notice we have some more texturing right here. Now these are designed uh, and it has a slight ledge right here. So when you grip, your thumb goes out there um, and it's designed so you can push down on your thumb and keep this really uh, pressed down for very, very flat shooting. Uh, it's a very flat shooting pistol. It is very, very nice to shoot. Um, so the trigger is very nice. It, again, it's it, for me, it's an improvement over Glock's triggers for sure. Um, I, I'm happy with that. Um, and then we have the kind of the takedown levers again, kind of the same as a Glock almost. We'll go over that in just a second with the takedown, how it's just slightly different. Uh, in a minute, we have obviously a rail here for your lights and whatever else you want to put on. Uh, moving up, you have these really awesome uh, slides up here that have been, um, you know, have all these really nice front and back serrations. Um, and the dimensions of it, it's just smooth, it's beautiful, just very tight tolerances as well. Um, you can see it's marked here MR920. I, uh, I do get a very nice uh, purchase on that to, to rack the slide. Um, very, very nice indeed. Uh, moving up, we do obviously have um, this kind of interesting bronze kind of colored barrel. We'll go over that in, in just a second. There's some features to go over with that. Um, Come standard with, no, this is a, this, this particular model, the MR920 is their battle optic, um, or their multi-role. So you can get it with or without an optics cut already in there. I do have the optics cut obviously on this um, and their optic cut is really a, a, a very, very innovative, smart design. Um, and I'm gonna go over these screws with you like I mentioned at the start. Now this is the cover plate that came on the slide. So we'll put that there. Um, but one of the things you're gonna notice Right out, right out the bat is how long, let me just grab a couple of these, is how long these screws are. Now, I'm gonna put an image in one of the corners of the screen, either side. Um, essentially, you have, uh, when you take this off for mounting, there's the two screws here, or there's two screws just a little further back. And that enables you to choose a variety of optics. So it's not just an RMR cut. You can throw Leopold, Vortex, you, the um, Hollow Sun RMR. It takes a variety of, um, uh, of red dots, which is absolutely phenomenal because either you need to have different plates, base plates to put on, or you have it cut just to a certain um optic and then it kind of limits you, you're not going to be able to switch it out if you want. So not only is that incredibly smart, they use these screws. They literally go almost the whole way down the slide. So it's a redesigned slide to take these long screws. So the mounting of this optic is extremely secure. It is not going to go anywhere. It, it, it's just a very, very innovative de uh, design and um, like really, really smart design. Um, now, when you buy the Elite model, um, you can, uh, sometimes it will come with a Holosun X2. Um, I, I like Holosun, but I'm still more of a Trigicon RMR fan at the moment. So I do have RMRs on here, uh, which as I'm using, but you can get these with the Holosun on them if you want. But we'll put that back there. Okay, so another thing that these come standard with, let me see if I can get that to focus. As you can see here, hopefully, focus. Um, we have the front sight here. These are This is a night sight. It's a high-vis uh, sight on here. And we have just a standard black serrations on the back here. But these sights are really nice. They are standard. Um, you can see there with the red dot. Uh, these are standard when it comes with them. Um, so I do like, these are mirror glow sights. Um, and I do like them a lot. I'm a huge fan. And again, these things start adding up. So some people are gonna be like, well, you know, it's why would you buy something that's more expensive than a Glock? Well, I like Glocks enough. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan in the world if you've watched my other videos, but I do like them. Um, but the things I don't like when I get my Glock is the trigger's not great, typically. Um, 
almost always. And it comes typically with the OEM plastic garbage sites from Glock. So, I mean, as soon as you start upgrading that stuff, you know, these sites are probably 75, 80, 90 bucks, and you gotta have them installed. It's got a better trigger. When you start adding these things into the cost, these definitely don't seem that more, you know, much more expensive um, when, you, when you already have it pre-done. So anyway, so that's the slide. Now, we're gonna go over the takedown method. So we'll go down over the takedown method. Now you can take this down pretty much the same as, as, a, as a Glock, but there's some slight differences. Now, how I was previously doing it, and then I watched a video on shadow systems, um, and they were saying, no, that's not how they like you to do it. So the previous way I was doing it, just like a Glock, now you're just gonna pull this back like a millimeter. That's all you need to do with these. Um, and then, oh, trigger's gotta be depressed. And then you can take the slide off. And that's how I was kind of, I was doing that. But what they said was the way to actually take these down is to pull down first and then slide back. And you'll feel when you pull this slide back, just I, I could I could pull down in these levers. As soon as you can pull down, that slide's good to come off. So it's not the same as a Glock. If you pull the slide back um, like a Glock, if you pull the slide all the way back and then do it this way, it's kind of it's kind of a pain. You can still do it, um, but it resets the trigger and things like that. So you can take it down pretty much the same way as a Glock, but how they recommend it, pull down, pull back just a little bit till you feel those tabs go down and then just push it off. I actually didn't accidentally reset the trigger. But anyway, you get you get the point. Okay, so the again, this is uh, in the lower here. Everything's gonna be Glock parts, um, so they'll look super familiar. Um, and then we'll come in here and we'll take out the guide rod is a metal guide rod. And then let's take out the barrel. It's a match grade barrel. And it, it obviously it's fluted right here, as you can see. It's fluted and spiraled. Um, very nice barrels. Accuracy is very good on these. Uh, it is dirty, obviously, I've been shooting. I'm, I'm about 500 rounds into this one. And I'm about 100 rounds into the Elite right now. So that is the barrel that came with the, the non-elite elite version. With the elite version, it does come with a threaded barrel. And obviously, because the, the, the gun's a different color, the, they change the color up of um, the barrels. So it's, it comes with a threaded barrel, and it's the same. It's, it's fluted, and it is um, spiraled, the same as the other version. I'll leave that for, put it back in a second. Um, the only rather real differences I've noticed is um, it has the... Let's turn this up here so you can see. So we have these cutouts right here, and then you can see on the top, obviously we have some more kind of those serrations and it doesn't have them there. Um, so the things that I've noticed with the difference is the threaded barrel, the cutouts, and the, the serrations up here for the Elite model. Now, I'm only 100 rounds into this one, but for me, the trigger feels better in the combat ready one. And I think it's because uh, Shadow Systems state they have a 200 round break-in period um, before things start to really get themselves together. Now, some people have mentioned in that first 200 rounds that they've had just one or two little hiccups. Um, I have had zero hiccups with either of these. I've had absolutely no failures of any kind. Um, but if you do within that first 200 rounds, you know, they say, you know, don't really worry about it. After 200 rounds, everything's broken and everything should be good to go. So I'll take their word for it. So that is us back together. So, so let's talk kind of like the price point of these. Now, these the, the one with the optics cut, this is about $900 for this version. Now, people are gonna be like, well, that's way more expensive than a Glock, like a standard Glock. Yes, it is. Now, if we go off of a Glock 19 MOS version, um, things start to look a little better because the MOS version is about 700, let's just call it $700. I think the last time I bought one, it was a little more. Um, the mounting system on this is much, much better than the Glock uh, MOS version. The mounting system is fantastic on the shadow systems. Um, it's lighter, the trigger is better, so you've got already got a better trigger than the Glock, which you typically you'd be upgrading or doing a 20, you know, doing a kind of polishing or whatever, but the trigger's already better. Your night sights are worth a hundred bucks, right? These, you know, they're worth a hundred dollars right there. You're already, just with the night sights, you're already over $800, you know, um, if you're doing it on a Glock MOS, right? If you want the nicer stippling, the nicer trigger, if you want the extra cutouts for the lightweight, you know, you start adding up and those things start to come really even very, very quickly. Now, I guess it just really depends. Do you prefer Glock 
or you know, do you like shadow systems, right? If you're a Glock fanboy, maybe you don't want something that people would consider a clone. Maybe you just want the real deal. Um, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I am unbelievably impressed with these shadow systems. I think it's, as I said, a well thought out system. I love the fact that you have these interchangeable back straps so you can get to the grip that you want. I love that it comes with a magwell, um, this uh, flared magwell part that you can put on and take off. Um, I love the slide. I love the, 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 the night sights that come with it. I love um, the optics cut and how that is so innovative. So yeah, there's just these, yeah, they're kind of expensive, but again, when you start adding up all these features, if you did this to a Glock, these, are, these start to shine really, really fast. Um, do I like it better than a Glock? Yes, I do. I like the shooting experience much more than I do shooting my Glock 19s. Um, these for me are much, much nicer firearms. Um, again, personal opinion, you might disagree with that and that is absolutely a-okay, um, but that is just my personal opinion. Um, I have been very, very impressed with these Shadow Systems guns. Now again, long-term review, um, I'm only 500 rounds into this one and 100 rounds into this one, so I don't have as many rounds through these as my Glocks, but I can tell you from my initial impressions, uh, shooting them, the overall quality, the features, these have a huge amount going for them. Um, so if you're in the market for a Glock, I highly recommend you check out these shadow systems. I'll put a link in the description if you want some more information. Uh, just click on that. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do folks. Uh, it does not cost you a thing, but it really helps me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help you out wherever I can. And that's pretty much it, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time.